You saw three of your teammates uh, win the World Cup. What were your emotions as you were watching that match? We were so excited. I, I couldn't have been more proud of our teammates and of Carly for scoring a hat trick in the, the World Cup championship. So it's just, it's been amazing and we cannot wait to get them back. Now, we know in Houston, if you know anything about Carly Lloyd, that this is, you know, she's one of the best players in the world. But just describe to me, you got a chance, you've had a chance to play with her now for a couple of months. You've got a chance to be around her. What makes her so special? I think what makes her so special, well, first of all, off the field is her work rate. I know she trains harder than anyone. Um, but on the field, I think she's such an incredible playmaker, but she's so dangerous. And so there's really no way to defend her because if you try to step up on her, she's going to playmake around you. And if you sit back, she's going to score like she did in the World Cup. And she can also score for anywhere, from anywhere. As you saw, she scored from half field. So she's just so dangerous. She's one of the most dangerous midfielders I've, I've ever seen. And so yeah, she's she's awesome. Playing with these three girls, I mean, it has to be a little bit more special, obviously, to watch this. I mean, you're rooting for the United States, but do you feel like you're literally sweating with them, and it's kind of an emotional experience when you're when you know them a little bit more than you did a, a few months ago? Yeah, definitely. And a lot of those girls, um, Kling, I played with in college, and Morgan, I played with on the under twenty national team. So we know them really close, and they're our friends, and we're rooting for them. So we were definitely nervous and just so excited because we know how hard they work, and we've seen how much time and effort that they put into this, and just to watch them win, and especially in that way, and to show how how First of all, they got some good revenge from the last World Cup. And just how how great of players that they are, we're just so proud. We're so proud of that. I asked Morgan, does she remember much about the first, the last, or the last World Cup that the United States won? I'm afraid to ask this question. Do you remember much about 1999 and Brady uh, Chastain? <laughs> well, I, I remember it. I, rem I definitely remember that final game. But I, I do remember watching and just thinking they're so awesome. Like, I hope I can play for that team one day. And it's funny, someone asked me this the other day. And Christine Lilly's header off the line, um, Megan Klingenberg, when she had that header against Sweden this World Cup, it just reminded me, it just brought me right back to the 99 World Cup. So it really is cool to kind of see it full circle and to be able to watch players that we play with every day win it. It's it's pretty surreal. Someday. Megan, we talked about Carly. She had a great tournament with just her defense, and she had one of the most memorable moments when she you know, stopped the ball right at the goal line. Talk a little bit about what, what she brought to that team and uh, and what she's brought to you guys so far this year. With Megan, it's definitely a mentality of I'm not getting beat, and she's she's so intense. And you can feel that when you're playing with her in a game or even in practice. She's so intense, and that spreads throughout the whole team. And when you look at Megan and you know she's not getting beat on this play, it's just the same as her, her save off the line. She wasn't letting that go in, and that's just her mentality, and it's always been like that. And she works so hard, and it's just her deciding I'm, I'm going to be the best and it forced Jill to not be able to take her off the field one one time throughout the whole tournament she couldn't afford to take her off so I think that's just a testament to how hard she works and how how just mentally tough she is really you're listening to Houston Sports Talk